Raja on Coast Mesa R&D. Today we have a Lamborghini V10 on the CNC mill. We're putting sleeves in. And as you can see, we've got the sleeves installed on this one side. And we're going to do the other side. I want to show you a little bit about how to set up the prototrack to do this type of job. And we're going to start by showing you how to center up on the cylinder and find a part zero. And then we'll find our location for the next cylinder, the next, the next, and the, finally the last one. And we'll show you how that's done. Well, we want to start by installing a coaxial indicator in our mill. And I'm going to move the block over here. Look to see that you've got it pretty much centered here and here. And then bring this down into the cylinder a few thousandths, uh, probably like about three of an inch or so. Then we're going to do is we're going to take and move this over and kind of see where we are here okay we see we're not very close here Right, now we're getting close. Let's go ahead and set our zero right there. We'll spin this around. Looks like we got it zeroed on the X. Now let's take a look at the Z. We should be able to back this up to zero. And you can see we're getting pretty close now. So let's split that. We set our zero. Okay, zero there. Looks like we're a little bit off an X. And it looks like we've got it. And we're within a thousandths. And that's plenty close on doing this. So what we're going to do next as we're going to take and punch in our zero coordinates, which is X absolute set, Y absolute set, and the Z we'll just leave alone for now because we don't need that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go to the next cylinder and we'll stick this down the hole, we'll bump this back to zero and see how many millimeters we've moved. Looking at our monitor up here, it looks like we're at 88.10. Well, my guess is that at the factory they, did, they didn't set it exactly at 88.10. They probably set it at 88 millimeters. So we're going to back this up to 88. see we're a lot closer now so what we'll do is we'll take them right 88 millimeters down knowing that our center line is over here on the number one cylinder and that's zero zero this is going to be 88 in X and zero in Y now we can come up and repeat this process Good. Now if we look back at the monitor, we can see we've got 176 millimeters in X and 0 in Y. So it looks like our um, 
bore spacing is about 88 millimeters. So let's go up and go over. Now where this is handy is not only trying to bore cylinders, but if you have several bore locations that you're trying to find on a part, then you can um, do the same exact method to find centers. There we go again. So we're at zero. We're at 264. And let's check our last one down here. Bit of deviation here in the Y but I'm not gonna do much with that because it's less than a thousandths and if we take a look up here on our monitor again we can see that we're 352 millimeters so once you've written all this down it's going to be or it's going to make writing your program a lot easier so that when you do this uh, it just will go to the right exact spot that you need it to so that's how you uh, find the uh, Bore centers on a block on the CNC mill. John Coast Mace R&D. We'll see you soon. Hi, right, John Coast Mace R&D. Well, today we're going to give you an example of how to program the. Uh, Southwestern Industries Prototrack with the MS SMX controller to uh, bore out a block and put sleeves in. We're going to start with the name and of course we've already typed in our name for our block here. We also want to make sure that our um, machine is set in three axis mode which is important and then we'll go to the uh, programming section go to the beginning and you can see that we've got several events there's going to be several events in here this is our first one and we're going to be doing a drilling operation and we've uh, established our part zero at the center of the first cylinder we're going to wrap it down to a minus 11 millimeters with our tool bit and then we're going to go down to a full depth length of 100 minus 161 millimeters no pecs we're going to run our speed about 500 rpm, we're going to run our Z feed of 55 rpm, and this is tool number one. Now if we go to the next page, you're going to see it's basically the same thing, only with different locations. we got an 88 millimeter, uh, bore center, 0 and Y, and everything else remains the same. Our next cylinder is 176 millimeters out, Y is the same, and all the rest is the same. Our fourth cylinder, we've got it located at 264 millimeters in X, still 0 in Y, and still our 11, minus 11, minus 161, and all our feed is all the same. And the same thing for our fifth cylinder here, which is located at 352 millimeters. Now that's for the first bore cycle. In other words, we're going to be doing four different cycles on this where we bore the cylinder out. And that's the first, which takes about 50 thousandths out. We're going to go back to location 00, zero or cylinder 1, and we're going to be doing the same operation. Now, we got in here tool number 2, which we have to set our tool bit at the prescribed size, which we'll go into that here once we get to the tool table. And essentially, it's just the same thing over and over. And here we got our third bore, which is tool number 3. And our last bore, which is going to be about ten thousandths, and this is tool number four. Okay, on our 
sleeves we're going to have a sleeve that has a flange at the top and we're going to go, go, go back to our zero zero location on cylinder number one we're going to start at minus 11 we're only going to go down to minus 23 and that will cut a square shoulder on our sleeve so if the, when the sleeve goes down we can press it down against there and it'll stop and as you can see our RPM is still the same our feed rate has slowed down to 30 and we have a new tool number five and it's basically all the same locations all over again only with a minus Z of 23 and that's the end of our program right there now if we go to setup we're going to go to tool table uh, what we got here is we have a bore of 3 inches 300 thousandths 3 inches 350 thousandths 3 inches 390 thousandths and 3 inches 398 thousandths and our final counter bore which is going to be 4.462 so that's our tools right there now if we go to tool path you can see how we're going to be going I'm boring five holes reference position we've already got that set our fixture offset is going to be 25.4 25.4 and 25.4 those are just kind of standard numbers that we use okay our next thing is to get this in the run position hit start and we're going to back out here a little bit take a look at our block and that's going to put us right over cylinder number one so that's some simple programming on the uh, CNC bill from uh, Southwestern Industry the prototrack this is the DPM3, which we use quite a bit here in the shop. If you have any questions about this mill, give Southwestern Industries a call and reference Costa Mesa R&D Automotive Machine when you call them and tell them uh, we had to call. John Costa Mesa R&D, we'll see you soon.